back to another vlog. I am chilling out here by the pool. We're getting right into this vlog, bro. Bradley is back in the cut. We are back in San Diego. Everything is back to normal, guys. Beautiful, cloudy San Diego right here in the cut. And then we got some friends over here. We got a girlfriend right here. And we got another friend right here. Bradley, where have you been in your life? Where have you been? Well, I guess the real question is where have I been? Where have you been? Anyways, a lot of people have been commenting, where's Maverick? Where's Bradley? Maverick's actually in Chicago. <laughs> doing stuff over in Chicago by himself. But um, we are at this beautiful pool right now. Hello, sir. How you doing? Uh, yeah, we're at this awesome pool right now. We're kind of celebrating. We're, we're celebrating life. We're not really celebrating anything in particular. But there are unicorns. There are turtles in the pool and we are all gonna be chilling right here such an awesome way to start the vlog hope you guys are having an amazing day we're gonna order some food chill by the pool and get this day started right Bradley yeah. anything you want to say to the people no you got a pop tag maybe that's a good welcome back that's a welcome back for Brad update me on your life bro people have missed you got a bag you got a bag now that's not a Maverick fanny pack so that's not that cool I didn't get one you didn't get a Maverick fanny pack link in the description have you got a, t a Tanner Fox fanny pack this is what they look like I'm gonna get you one. I'm gonna get you a freaking fanny pack. But for now, we're gonna go in the pool and we're gonna order some food and we're gonna be really like, it's gonna be a good day. Fun fact, guys, I don't know if I've said this story before. One time when I was like seven, I was playing down here on these rocks. I was chasing a crab, or I was doing something. I was trying to catch a crab. I slipped on a rock and hit my head and was down there crying. And then there's a restaurant right here and people were watching me cry and no one helped me. And then my mom heard me crying and she came and helped me. And I got a concussion. Another time at this pool, Bradley, I was running around this corner and I tripped and fell in this corner of the pool and hit my head on the side and got a concussion. Files of that fact. Wow, that was a fun fact that's with fun. Tanner. All right, let's go jump in the water. And the crew gets bigger. We got some more friends here. Chase here. Jordan's here. This is a legit, it's like a perfect vlog to come home to. They just teleported here. It was really random. Yeah, they're just in San Diego and they just showed up at the pool. teleportation. That's how we're doing it. Uh, anyone want to go in the pool with Tanner? Jake? Pool? I'm going to eat. Quit acting like you have armpit hair, dude. It's kind of pissing me off. You just trying to flex your armpit hair? Let me tell you something. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. You just wanted to laugh and go, ah. <laughs> Any words? It was so good, Tenta. I got me. Straight to the jacuzzi. Hey, you got, you kind of got a mullet going on here. Yeah, know, Let me see that. Zach. Turn around, you have freaking do you. I didn't you look, ah, ha, ha. Hey, look, Jordan has a mullet. Hey. hey. Where are you from, bro? Southside. Are you from I'm South? From the 70s, bro. Yeah. Holy crap. Can I film your tattoo? Look how sick this is. That's actually dope. Yo, he's got a chain. What is a tattoo? That's so dope, dude. Baba. What? Food! Watch this trick I learned back in third grade. Come here. You guys wanna see some magic before I go eat my chicken tenders? Alright, watch this. Let's see it. So here I have myself a giant noodle. Okay. Watch the off the back. Oh, I love this! Dude! I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get her. Get her. Get her. Hey, I'm gonna get you. I didn't get her. But um, I have to eat some food Come now. Eat. Come guys, eat. look at us having fun. I'm gonna do a castaway. Okay. Hurry up. Let's eat. Oh! That was almost it. That was almost it. Oh yeah, she's got a salad. She's gonna eat it and she's got she's got a salad, guys. How good does this salad look? How good does that look? It looks pretty good. That looks like a healthy salad. It does. That looks it very does. healthy and nutritious. Thank, thank, you, thank you. I'm having you. chicken tenders. Oh my gosh, look at that. If you guys are a salad enthusiast, I for one am not, but I'm sure this is a good looking salad. How's your salad? Is it green? There's no chicken. Was there supposed to be chicken? Well, you probably should have ordered chicken if you wanted chicken. Oh, so I have one of your tenders. Oh, you want one of my chicken? Oh, you use it. You're a chi you're people have been wrong this whole time. You're not a gold digger. You're a chicken digger. Look at you. You caught me. I caught you in the act. She take my chicken. Well, I'm in need. There now it's a chicken chop chop salad. Yeah, I mean, wow, we're just chefs out here, guys. God, I'm like I'm almost out of fries. Taylor, do you have any extra fries I can use? Jake just left to go to the bathroom. We were getting ready to head out from the pool. We all just had a mad swim, like awesome. It was, the swim was kind of angry. And we turn around and sure enough, Jake forgot the only thing that really, really matters. His camera Yo, for the 10th. lost the camera? Uh, yeah, I think actually five different times. Jake just left to go change and brought all of his stuff, but left his $5,000 camera. We should just wait and see if he doesn't think about it. Taylor, can I put this in your bag? We're gonna put it in the backpack, and then if he goes, oh, sh oh crap, I forgot my camera, he can come back and get it. Otherwise, I think Jake is probably gonna forget, because like he he brought everything except for that. What did you do again? No, what I, did you do again? I told you guys to wait. For wait me. for what? We, I got your shorts. Why would you leave your camera over there? Because I thought you guys were waiting. We all 
followed you out. No, man, you gotta hop the fence. I don't have your camera. We'll wait for him to run over there and then come back and we're gonna tell him that we have his camera. Deal? 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 All right, Jake is in the cut right now. There he is, looking for his camera. He goes, oh crap, where is it? And then he realizes that Tanner, in fact, has the camera and he's flipping me off. Guys, he's on to us. He's on to us. We gotta give him the camera. We gotta give him the camera, guys. He knows. He knows Tanner has it because I always have it when he forgets it. There you go, sir. Next time, don't forget your camera, okay? You little irresponsible it. boy stealing hats oh, from people. You stole that hat from Glenn. Oh, baby girl, I missed you. I missed you. This is your first time in my backyard, bro. All right, I am finally back riding on the mini ramp. I just had no one to ride on it with. Plus, I thought we were going to have to get it taken out. But um, I don't know when that's happening, so I gotta be quiet because, you know, my neighbors are just like super nice and I just don't wanna ex over excite them with like something exciting going on because then they just want, they'll wanna like, they'll wanna like congratulate me on it and stuff and I just, like, you know, I don't, I don't wanna make them too excited anyways. Um, so Shay's here. Shay's actually a BMX rider, so we're gonna get a quick sesh going on. Jordan just went to go get a new battery. He's gonna be riding it. Man, I miss this thing. I cannot wait, guys. I have not even updated you on this in so long. I have the gnarliest render for my warehouse. For like the skate park, we're getting this insane trampoline. There's like this crazy trampoline. It's gonna be a tennis effect. I cannot wait to show you guys. It's gonna be incredible. So we're gonna ride a little bit. Jake just got here finally too. Okay, Shay, if for some reason you fall and get hurt, who's responsible? Me. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I gotta get that on film. We don't have waivers here, so I have to do that. Uh, Shay's gonna try to fly. Have you ever flared a scooter before? No. Good luck, pull back, hold on, keep your legs inside in the vehicle, and yeah. Thank you for watching. Hey, before you do this though, important, important plug guys. SIG deck, SIG wheels, SIG complete are available now. Make sure you tighten the clamp though or else the balls will fall off. Balls. <laughs> what? Make sure you tighten the clamp or the bars are gonna fall off. Uh, yeah guys, cop some scooter parts, link in the description. Shay's gonna show us how to flare on it though. That's much better, that way we can just ride him. Do like this. The boys are in the cut. He said the flare. Not even on the skin. I'm so good at scootering. Ba da da, ba da da, ba da da, Guys, we're using an iPhone light right now. You would think after so many years of being YouTubers, uh, you, we would invest in some lighting, but no, still using the same vlog camera. Today's agenda, even though we're already halfway into this video, me and my girlfriend here are gonna do a couples Q and A. What I have done so far is tweeted you all, and we're gonna do a live and honest. Q&A. Also, I want to apologize for this vlog not being that long and like super crazy. I'm still recovering from being out for the past two and a half weeks like non-stop, every night, not sleeping. So I actually got some rest today, which was nice, guys. Make sure you stand healthy and you actually keep up on your sleep. It's always good to grind, but at some point you're going to have to sleep and you got to take care of yourself. That's always important. We didn't film that much today. We just kind of went to the pool, had some fun there, did some flips. And now you're in my room with my forehead being cut off on the camera right now. I'm going to go ahead and like figure out how I'm sitting, guys. So sorry if it's a little awkward. We're going to do some Q&A questions let's get right into it how tall are you i am five foot nine inches how tall am i you are five foot should we answer the question for each other Ooh, I like that'd be that. better well for some of them some of them is like okay yeah yeah if, if they make sense we'll answer each other taylor is five foot tall taylor is tiny she's like up to my like halfway of my I neck i know how tall you are how tall am five i ten i'm five ten yeah i'm actually five nine I oh, actually said? just said that. Oh, I, I actually just wrong. answered the question and she said we should answer for each other. So I just told you and you got it wrong. I'm five. I'm five nine. That's okay. Next question. What is a place you both want to go the most together? A place I have dreamed of going, and I'm pretty sure I've answered this in videos before. I want to go to Dubai so bad, and I want to go to like Italy or France. I feel like that's exotic. I just feel like that's super exotic. Like Italy, France, all those crazy places. I might be going to Germany soon, so that would be cool. Italy. You wanna go to Italy? Yeah, very We should go to Italy. If you guys want us to go on tour in Italy, comment down below and we'll make it happen. Any advice for a long distance relationship? Do you have any advice? You're the girl. I feel like you'd be good at advice. Any I advice? think I would just say trust. A lot of I would trust. Say that you can't be and in patience. A long, you can't be in a long distance relationship if you don't have trust. So if you don't trust your partner, then you shouldn't even. Yeah. That's true. That's really true because you're not gonna be with them all the time. If you don't have trust, it's gonna cause a lot of arguments and a lot of unnecessary fights. Yeah, and you have to have patience. Cause you never know, like me and Taylor are always traveling. So we don't get to see each other like all the time. So you gotta have like patience and you gotta have trust. I think those are two really big things. Oh, Taylor, they're exposing us on this question. What would you name your kids if you guys had any? Oh no, we're gonna have a baby son named Tristan. Guys, we're having kids. That's probably gonna be the title of this video. Oh no. Well, okay, we're not, we're, no, nobody's, I'm not pregnant, okay? I know what you guys are thinking. No one's, I'm not having a child. Uh, Taylor, on the other hand, of course, is obviously having a child. Pick a boy name and a girl name. I want to name my kids starting with a T. Same, I do too. So I can't, so I don't know any girls' names that start with T. Tiffany. Uh, I don't 
don't know. Tanya. Is that your like fictional <laughs> character's name? Yes. Tanya! I like Tristan. Tristan's a pretty good name. D Fox Jr. Okay. D Fox Jr. is a good one. It works. For girls, I can't really teal. I like teal. I know I don't like think you like teal. I think teal is a cool it's girl a color. name. Yeah, it's also a name if you want it to be. Yeah. Anything's a name if you want it to be. What was y'all first kiss like? So I took Taylor to the movie theater. This is after she hinted that she wanted to kiss me like four hours prior, but I like was too scared to make a move. So we're in a movie theater, she was laying on me, and then I kissed her Spider-Man style. Like she was like laying on me. Well it wasn't fully upside down, it was kinda sideways, so it was like T Fox style. Like, and then we just kind of kissed, and it was good. Here we are, having kids, named Tristan. Who said, I love you first? You did. I did, I did say that In first. the dark. In the dark, at night. Pitch black. It I was, was not ready for it. And but I was really happy, but I wasn't ready for it. And I was scared, and it's just like, you know, but I did it. That was me. This says, don't tell Taylor, but kiss her right now. <laughs> this is my carpet. All right, guys, the last question that we are gonna answer is, when is Taylor gonna move in? Taylor stays in San Diego a lot, so, but like when is she, I think that means like when, if, I don't even know how to ask. When is Taylor gonna move in? I have no idea. Me and Taylor are both just happy with how things are going right now. Kinda just going with the flow. We actually just put a down payment on a really big house. So probably in the next like two weeks after our kid is born. And then after that, we have to obviously go through with the marriage papers. And then from there, we have to sign the contracts with the house, and that's when... <laughs> I'm kidding, we have no idea. That is going to do it for today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. I am so happy to be home, back to normal. We are headed up to the warehouse tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. We've got a lot of things to go over, and we're going to see Dylan. We're going to do a lot of fun stuff. I finally get my GTR back, guys. It's been in the shop for three weeks. So I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Peace out. Let's roll the outro. I wish you a